Well, I, I was just passed a note from Paul Levinson, and I've been told that in trying to cement his popularity as president, he's decided to take a stand that all future nebula ceremonies will have one important rule, and that's no singing is allowed. So he has, he has told me that. But the, uh, oh, well, you better change that rule there, Paul. I don't know. But uh, we're now going to best novel, and uh, once more, the novels that have won that award before have been classic, so if you do win, you'll in, be in heavy company here. The first time it was given out back in 66 was for Dune by Frank Herbert, followed by some books you might have heard of, Rite of Passage, Alexi Panchin, Left Hand of Darkness, Ursula K. Le Guin, Ring World, Larry Niven, Gods Themselves, Isaac Asimov, Rendezvous with Rama, Arthur C. Clarke, Timescape by Greg Benford, uh, Neuromancer by William Gibson, Doomsday Book, Connie Willis, and The Forever War by Joe Haldeman, who will be coming up to the stage in a moment. In a moment, to present this award. And uh, you know, we're having Joe do the honors now because his books, you know, Forever War, Forever Peace, are novels that, that had to be written, and I'm very thankful for them because I can't sleep some nights and I open them and I'm just, I'm out immediately. And, but no, but, no, but the, real reason, the real reason that we allow him to do this is his most important attribute, and that is gay. Alderman. And if, if where, where is she? Where is she? If, if, if not for Gay Haldeman, if not for Gay Haldeman, we would have gotten rid of him a long time ago, if not for Gay Haldeman. And, and we wonder, why does, why does she keep Joe? I mean, I've always wondered this. Why does she keep Joe Haldeman? And I'm happy to announce, last night, I was able to find out the real reason. Joe and I, we had a few drinks, Joe and... And there was a jacuzzi in the suite. And, uh, and one thing led to another, and well, 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 we're in front of friends here, so I can say that, that last night I learned the real reason why Joe is known as the forever man. <laughs> so let's have a big hand for Mr. Gay Haldeman! I had a long shtick about Calendrix, but I seem to have lost that with the last presenter, so I won't, uh, I won't take up your time with it. We have six good books here. Parable of the Talents by Octavia Estelle Butler. <laughs> the Cassini Division by Ken McLeod. Mission Child by Maureen McHugh. A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. Mocking Bird by Sean Stewart. And Werner Vinge, A Deepness in the Sky. Maybe I should have left my glasses on. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. I hope this is in large type. Yes, it is. Estelle? A Parable of the Talents by Octavia Butler. much. I have to admit that um, I even, this time I was so nervous, I brought along two friends so that I'd have shoulders to cry on if I lost this one. I, um, I want to thank in particular my agent, Marilee Heifetz, and my, my two editors, um, Dan Simon and um, 
Be Betsy, ha <laughs> Betsy Mitchell. Oh my goodness. And I've been sitting over there talking to her all evening. Um, I really appreciate this, and I think it makes it worth all the pain that I went through trying to write a story that obviously did not want to be written and would not let me alone. Thank you very much. I think we've had enough of Scott Edelman and his uh, innuendos. <laughs> I'm looking now for another editor that I could pick to uh, host the thing next year. I don't know. Um, well, what was it? Um, <laughs>